What's going on everybody and welcome to the Torian Rain Reloader channel. If you are new, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to hit that bell and have your notification set to all so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live. And be sure to like, comment, and share this content on your various social media platforms. So we are talking about Ezra Miller yet again. This man has literally been in the news in a heavy rotation since the end of March. And it seems like he's back in the news again, not for the same incident that happened back in March when he was in Hawaii. But this is for a whole nother situation outside of that one that we probably didn't see coming. But it's highly weird we're talking about here. And it's Ezra Miller at the same time. But even after I display or tell you what's going on with him, he's still going to have people on his side and like i told people he is the teflon don because he has the trinity working in his favor he is a pc male who is in the academy and he's jewish like i said the trinity but what's going on with ezra miller this time well apparently uh this 18 year old or now 18 year old parents have claimed that they have filed a restraining order against him because apparently, according to this woman, this young woman's parents, he was, quote unquote, grooming her. And we all know what they mean when they say grooming. And I think based on this young lady's name, I believe she's Native American because her name is Takata Iron Eyes. That's her name. And she's 18 years of age. So I'm basing, like I said, based on that name, this, that those last two names, Native American is what it screams out to me. But I'm going to go ahead now and read this article. Scandal hit actor Ezra Miller, age 29, has been accused of taking control of a teenage activist, plying her with alcohol, LSD, and marijuana, forcing her to drop out of school and taking away her personal items. Takata Iron Eyes, a member of the Standing Rock Sioux tribe, met the Flash star when she was just 12 years old when the then 23-year-old Miller visited their reservation in North Dakota. Takata's parents claim they sparked up an unlikely friendship and Miller even flew her to London two years later. Mind you, now she's 14. And he would be 25 to visit the Fantastic Beast studio. The parents claim in a lawsuit that the actor who identifies as non-binary and queer supplied their underage daughter with drugs and alcohol and, and disrupted her Massachusetts private schooling to such an extent that she dropped out in December. When they flew to Miller's home in Vermont, in January, to retrieve Takata, they allegedly found bruises on her body and she no longer had a driving license, car keys, or bank card, TMZ reported. And that's of January of this year, I believe, because they didn't specify a year, because clearly she wouldn't have a license at 14. When the teenager was returned to her parents' home, she fled again to New York to reunite with Miller, and they have since allegedly been traveling together to Vermont, Hawaii, and Los Angeles. I wonder if she was in Hawaii with him when all of that stuff was going down back in March. It is just the latest illegal case involving Miller, who was arrested in Hawaii in April for allegedly throwing a chair at a woman's head after refusing to leave her home weeks after another arrest for spitting in someone's face in a bar during a game of darts. Takata's father, Chase Ironize, a former Democratic House candidate for North Dakota, and his wife said in their lawsuit, Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to, sway, to hold sway over a young adolescent, Takata. The parents are asking the court to intervene and issue an order of protection against Miller on behalf of their daughter. A hearing is set for next month. Takata dismissed the concerns in a post on social media, writing, I'd like to make a statement to acknowledge the tragedy that is the narrative of the general public and the assumptions made on my behalf by my family and friends regarding my stability and otherwise. I dropped out of Bard five months ago. My friend and comrade William short passed shortly thereafter. My mind was incredibly impacted and I've needed space and time for the processing of grief. My comrade Ezra Miller for the entirety of my of the aforementioned era have only provided loving support and invaluable protection throughout this period of loss. Something tells me that this dude took advantage of this woman's grief. You hear all the things that she was going through, like dealing with loss, depression, dropping out of school, and he most likely took advantage of all of that. So that's where the whole grooming part comes in. It's almost like a brainwashing thing. That's what the vibes I'm getting is that this guy was brainwashing her. Remember, she went jet setting with him halfway across the globe to London when she was only 12, no, 14. And mind you, he was 25. What is a 25-year-old doing with a 14-year-old? 
But I bet you had Ezra been black. I'm going to just leave it right there. Takata began her life as an activist age nine when she testified against a uranium mine in the Black Hills. She also was a prominent campa- campaigner against the proposed Dakota Access Pipeline and has appeared alongside Greta Thunberg to discuss climate concerns. Miller has been involved in a series of run-ins with the law involving drugs and violence. In Hawaii in March, the actor reportedly heard obscenities at a 23-year-old woman singing karaoke, then tried to grab the microphone from her mid-song at Margarita Village Bar in Hilo. On that same night, they lunged at a 32-year-old man who was playing darts at the bar and spat in his face. Police were eventually called in to deal with the out-of-control star. They let, later pled guilty, I'm like, pled it, no contest, and were fined $500 for disorderly conduct. Weeks later, Miller became irate after they were asked to leave a gathering and threw a chair, striking a 26-year-old woman in the forehead. The unidentified woman was left with half an inch cut but refused treatment. Police said the Hollywood star was arrested 20 minutes after the attack during a traffic stop at the intersection of Highway 130 and Kakula Street in Kiayu. The couple Miller was staying with bailed them out of five hundred out for five hundred dollars, but then they issued a restraining order against the actor. I would have let him stay right there. The pair said Miller threatened them and robbed them while they were staying in the couple's Hawaii home. The husband, who has not been publicly named, alleged that after returning home, Miller had a breakdown and threatened his wife, saying, I will bury you and your ish wife or slut wife. I don't know if it, if he's saying ish wife or slut wife. Uh the couple has since dropped the petition for a restraining order. Warner Brothers and DC executives held an emergency meeting in March where they agreed to halt any future projects involving Miller, sources told Rolling Stone. Insiders told the publication that Miller, who has a history of meltdowns, quote-unquote, will not be involved in any public appearances for the DC Cinematic Universe despite Miller's The Flash later to premiere next year. Well, that's insiders. We don't know. We need to hear word from Warner Brothers and DC since they really have the final word. He doesn't really need to be in anything else, even outside of The Flash. They need to stall his career right then and now. If they could get Will Smith on what happened back in in March for that, they can definitely get him on this. At least with Will Smith, that was just one thing. This guy has a residual effect, compounding effect of issues that continue to plague and um, plague his life by his own doing. Just have to throw that in there. Miller has previously drew controversy in April 2020 when a video circulated that allegedly showed the actor choking a woman while at a bar in Ray Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Again, assaulting yet another woman inside of a bar. I'm seeing another pattern here. In the video, Miller grabs the woman by the throat and attempts to throw her to the ground. Whoa, bro, the person filming says. A uh, source told Variety the incident took place after pushy fans approached Miller and the actor lost their temper. Miller has never publicly addressed the incident. Miller also made headlines in January when they posted a now deleted video on Instagram threatening members of the Klan operating in Beulahville, North Carolina. Miller was seen telling members of the Klan to kill themselves with their own guns. Otherwise, we'll do it for you if that's what you want. Miller also had a run in with the law in 2011 where they were arrested for drug possession. The actor, then 19, was the passenger in a vehicle in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, when they were pulled over and cops reportedly discovered 20 grams of marijuana on them. A judge would later drop the drug possession charge, but they were charged with two citations of disorderly conduct in order to pay a fine of $600. If you look at all the stuff that he's done in the past, even prior to this, it just shows you that he's been skating along. I told you in another video that this guy is a professional ice skater. And I'm standing firmly on that. This guy knows how to weave in and out and get a, and, and slip in and out of different situations. Now, I wonder what's going to come of this. But like I said, they said his trouble started back in 2011. So you're talking about over a decade worth of issues surrounding this guy. But within the last couple of years, that's when they've been more repeated. So from 2011 to 2000, say 20, he really wasn't having issues. Or well, 19, he really wasn't having issues as far as we know. Well, 2012 to 2019, there really wasn't any issues there. But then in 2020, that's when it started to become more routine. And as you can see, it's still going on. But now with this new situation here, this is going beyond 2020. Because if he was 25 and he's 29 now, you're talking four years ago uh, when it came to this uh, this eight now 18-year-old 
four or five years. So that's like what, 2017? If my math is correct, 2016, 2017. And if you remember in 2017, that's when the Justice League came out, which he was in. So that stuff was going on while he was filming this movie. Yeah, the, like I said, this guy has some serious, serious issues. But like I said at the beginning, he's Teflon Don. He has the Trinity on his side. He's going to continue to get away with this until he comes across the wrong, the right one. Now, I, now, now, with that being said, I, I question the parents. How in the world did you just allow your daughter at the age of 12 to just go off with this guy? As far as you know, was just a random person that you didn't even know like that to go to another continent, another nation in another part of the world on the other side of the globe. How did you just allow that to happen? Like, why did you just trust this guy with your child that you I don't know if they trusted him or if she snuck off with him or whatever the case may be. But that around that age is when the grooming began. So he's literally practically in my eyes has been grooming her since she was 12. She's 18 now. Legally, she's a woman. But mentally, she might still be in a child's place. I mean, she's not that it's not like she's far out into not being a minor anymore, but who knows what the grooming process again was like when she was with him. They just gave minor details saying that she, you know, there was drugs involved. There was bruising on the body. So there was some form of abuse there. Yeah. This guy is like, this guy's a menace. He's like the, he's like the menace of Holly weird in my eyes. That's basically the title to give him. Cause he stays in the news with seemingly looks like every single month and April was a huge month for him because he just stayed in the news. Like ev- seemed like every two weeks, first it was that incident in Hawaii. And then two weeks later, he he's an, involved with something else also in the same in Hawaii again. And now this, and I'm recording this on June 8th, 2022. This guy just can't get right, but they're constantly and continuously allowing him to get away with it. Again, the Trinity. That thing seems to be undefeated, especially in his case. I would say things go from bad to worse for Ezra Miller, but it seems like bad would be almost good in his aspect. This thing goes from worse to an absolute monstrosity or an atrocity, if you will, because now he is on the run. The latest reports is that he is on the run. It says right here, Ezra Miller seems to be on the run as the court is unable to find them. And by them, he's talking about him and the young lady that he has groomed. And this is fans demand scrapping of the Flash movie altogether. I said the same thing. I said the same thing because the thing is, the movie really isn't going to hit the same anymore because of everything that's going on with him. Like they, I believe they're trying, they were trying to serve him papers or, you know, like, some, like some kind of papers to come before maybe a, a judge or something like that. And they cannot locate him. And he's been on the run. And I'm recording this part of it because I had to add this into the uh, recording prior to this on the 16th of June. He's been on the run as of now, probably for the last couple of days like they have no idea where he's at i saw another report saying that he has deleted his social media accounts i think all of them um any social media accounts that he had he's no longer on i believe before he did that he was posting some memes or whatever i guess trolling and you know those are gone too so or whoever uh screenshotted them and posted them up or saved them but yeah like i said menace of hollywood or holly weird But again, he has that Trinity protecting him. I'm telling you, that Trinity is undefeated. I keep telling people that it is, and I'm going to stand firmly on that. It's funny, he's on the run. He's literally acting out his character because, you know, the Flash runs really, really fast. Well, if he runs like he in real life like he does in this Flash movie, they should have no problem catching him. It just seems like things get go from bad to worse for Ezra Miller yet again. And I mean... it's past bad. I think I said that earlier. It's past bad. It's at worst. It just is all downhill from here for for him, from for him from here. Excuse me. I can't get my words together. So this is another update right here involving Ezra Miller. He went from being on the run. Now 
apparently he has quote unquote groomed another child. To see right here says a court a court granted a temporary protection order against Ezra Miller on behalf of the family of a 12 year old Hawaii Police Department. And the thing is, they say he's on the run, but I have a feeling they know exactly where he is, but they're not trying to say exactly where he is. They know exactly where this clown is and they know exactly where to find him. But they want to play games like they don't know where he's at. They know exactly, in my opinion, they know exactly where he is, but they just trying to pretend like they don't know. They know where he's at. They know where he's hiding. They just letting him run around the world like he's the flash in real life. But get this. This is not all what I'm about to show you is probably what people have been wanting to happen for him for a while now check this out ezra miller reportedly dropped from the flash following grooming allegations you mean to tell me it took that to happen for him to actually get dropped from this role and my thing is this he did all of this he they allowed him to do all of this and they're just now dropping him from the flash role now my question is this are they removing his parts from the movie that's supposed to come out or are they going to release that same cut and he's just not going to be flashing any further Warner Brothers DC properties? Because either way, they took too long. They took too damn long. But remember what I said. He has the Trinity on his side. What is the Trinity, you ask? White male in the academy who is Jewish. The Trinity. Write it down, mark it down in your memory or something, however you want to do it. That is what is protecting him. That is how he's been able to skate around the way he has been for so long. And in some aspect, continues to do so. And I'm going to be honest with you. All of this happening has made me not want to go see The Flash. So I will not be seeing The Flash when it comes out next year. And, I w and I'm going to be honest. When they first show some clips from it like from dc fandom last year i was actually kind of looking forward to it. i was like oh snap this might actually be pretty good you know he's getting his own movie but nope not after this no way if they can keep amber Heard in it and apparently i think they i thought they or maybe they're supposed to be firing her i'm not sure but like i said about aquaman too if she's anywhere near that film i'm not watching it so don't expect a review from me if she's a part of it. And that's a shame because I really enjoyed the first Aquaman movie. It was a really, really good movie. It was really well done. The same applies for this movie too. This movie could probably be one of the best movies DC's ever made. God knows they haven't had one in a while. But at the end of the day, I can't support this. There's no way that you could ask me to support this with a straight face. Hell, even with, even in a drunken state, I would tell you, hell no. And then you know what they say, a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. So there you go.